Do you believe that dreams do come true? If you do, good for you, darling. If you don't, do not worry. By the end of this video, you are so going to be inspired. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new, thank you for coming. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're an OG, thank you for always tuning in. So I got invited today to come see my senior friend, Mr. Calvin Daniel. You know, last year I had him on my channel like more than once. And all of the times that we met last year, this place was nothing but a dream. Today, we are here to harvest some farm produce. Not just that. The, sh the shocking part of my visit to this place today is the staffs. They wanted me to interview them. They wanted to be in front of my camera. I was very surprised because last year when i came here i met some of them and they didn't want to, to they were not interested in what i was doing they were hiding behind my camera and they weren't looking happy so today i'm surprised that they used their hand to say please we want to be interviewed i'm here for that and also i'm going to give you guys a tour of this beautiful container house Oh my goodness. Not just that, I'm going to take you guys to the feed. So we're going to go harvest some things. These are all organic food produce. I am so happy. I'm Teresa Pedro and I'm part of the farm workers. So for now, we are all, we are almost doing the same thing. Uh, yeah. So how is it like walking here? oh fun. it's been great it's been it's been it's been great it's been fun it's not been easy but we as it's part of life journey we we always learn from it and so it's been a great journey so far we are practice we are using all the right practices in our farm and so they should be rest assured in terms of health health wise they can count on us our practices are the best so for their healthy farm produce from cabbages to sweet pepper to chili cayenne to maize okra garden eggs sweet melon watermelon like everything purple they can count on us for healthy farm produce please my name is sabina and what do you do here hey i'm a farmer this is shy hill farmers we do a lot of vegetables we have cabbage we have watermelon we have banana pepper we do a lot of vegetables so we are grateful and we are working with it our director, he's from United States. And I would like to advise my fellow Ghanaians. Being a farmer is a very good thing. So we would like other people outside to join us so that yeah, so that we have plenty of farm produce to, to feed the country and other people hmm. like the orphanage. Okay. Your overall experience, how is it like working with Kevin Daniels? Tell us. Well, very good. He's a very good man. And he likes people. He supports us so much. As we are here, we are not suffering. He do all our needs for us. And we also have to support him to do what is good. Yes. Yeah. Hey, hi. Uh, my name is Isaac Kumsen. Okay. So yeah. what, what what is your role here in Shaihe Farm? Oh, I'm a, like I'm a staff. Like what are you best at? Oh, <laughs> anything. Everything. Yes. Oh, 
wow okay. yeah everything okay. i know how to do everything yeah. yeah so what is your experience working with carving daniels tell us the truth oh oh the man is good yeah uh, i make with so many people but i've seen that this man is truly good to me yeah even uh, as so many things i can't do. yeah <laughs> yeah okay you don't want to say everything yeah. so is there anything you are learning like are you gaining experience yes, like walking yeah. here gaining experience yes so will you like to go into farming some days no With this experience you are having do you think farming is um profitable enough for you yes to yes to it's good oh farming is good yeah yeah so will you own your own farm will you no, You're not sure? <laughs> <laughs> I can do. Okay. I can do. I can do my own farm. Because from my experience here, okay. yeah, I know I can uh, build a whole like. Okay. With, with the experience you have gathered here, you can actually have your own farm. Yeah, like cabbage farm. Yeah, I can do. Why? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so I've learned a lot here. Mm. Yes. Okay. So this is not just about working for the money. No, it's no, about no. the experience. Yeah. As yeah. Well. Yeah. I'm Michael Obey. I'm part of um. Shy hosting farm. Yeah, I'm a worker. Everything, everything has um, that's farming. Yeah. Mm. So how is it like working as a farmer? Do you have anything to tell the youth about farming? Do you think it's a business that they should indulge in? Oh yeah, sure. Because um, farming is something that's uh, very important. Truly speaking, uh, I'm a IT student. Okay. I'm a graphic designer, but. Uh, I read more about farming and agriculture, so I try to what, come and experience more to know what is going on and what is going into the system. Mm. And uh, when I, I, I started mm. for two months, I've learned more. You've learned a lot. I've, right? learned, I've learned a lot. First, I don't know how to even spray. I don't know the, some of the, the name of the chemicals, yeah. how you can um, apply it. Sure. Sure. Now so, you do all of that. Exactly. exactly. So how is it like working with Calvin Daniels? Wow, 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 wow. Most grateful to Calvin Daniels because uh, we, 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 the local um, mm. uh, managers of farmers who are into Ghana sometimes, <laughs> sometimes uh, our, our, our managing staffs are poor, but working mm. with um, Mr. Calvin, I've, I've, I've really learned more about how to manage staffs and uh, going into farming because he's, 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 he's great. Sure, sure. Right now. Sure. Uh, I'm Peter Na. I'm, I'm the manager here in okay. charge of the whole field. When it comes to the crop side, I'm in charge of everything. That's a lot of responsibility, but how is it like working with Calvin Daniels? An American man who, who's, you know how their timing is from us, so how is it like working with him? Oh, it's normal because um, he's not the first person I'm um, working okay. with. I've worked with um, one from Romania. Okay. We, we are even doing a thousand acres. So uh, I've been in the system for some time, so I know working with them I mean, it's normal for me. Yeah, yes. So that means you have a lot of experiences about farming, right? Yeah, uh, I have my own consultancy firm, Agribusiness Consultancy, okay. registered since 2014. So I run the farming sector, from crops to irrigation to animal. So I'm top on top of it. Wow. Okay. So, what do you have to tell Ghanaians about Shai Hill farms and agriculture? Tell them something. It's not. Know. It's not just about uh, Shai Hill's farm. Okay. I always talk about uh, agriculture. Uh, is the uh, Greek is the backbone of every nation, and um, it looks like people don't understand. But farming is one of the lucrative uh, business, especially when you go to the dry season irrigation crops are very expensive. For example, you come to Ghana here, as we are talking today, uh, we are buying cabbage from uh, Togo. Togo is bringing cabbage to Ghana. Uh, pep, uh, tomato from Burkina Faso, Niger, Cote d'Ivoire. Assuming every house has a, a garden, assuming every individual house has a garden, I mean, they can harvest what they want to eat, and we are feeding ourselves. We don't look outside. And those things from outside are not very good because full of chemicals. Because their chemicals are stronger than 
our chemicals here because most of our chemicals in the country now, Cocoa Board has to uh, research and then approve it before we are using. Mm. So farming is a lucrative, and as we are here, we have a lot of things because this is the first time. But we will be going into uh, cucumber, lettuce, squash. I mean, just machine it. Currently, we even have habanero on the farm, which is where uh, one of the, the first hottest in the whole West Africa. We are having it here. Wow, the yeah. first hottest. In yes, the whole of West, Africa. West Africa, and then the second hottest too. We have it here. The yellow and the red. We bought the seed from Kenya, and we are doing it here. And he's doing well. So, I mean, those who knew it, today we have a visitor here. She look at it and say, yes, I've seen it in Kenya before. And she took some away. So, I mean, we have a lot doing here. Farming is the best and everybody can go into it. It doesn't mean you go on last scale, but you can start with uh, 50 by 50 or 100 meters. And there you go. So farming, not just uh, crop. I always say those doing fish farming and uh, poultry and pig farming, they must do vegetables because they the waste from the fish pond and then the pig and other things is a complete organic fertilizer. But here we are, many are only doing animal farming without the vegetables and they throw it away. We will go for it and use it and sell the crops to them at a higher prices. Wow, did you hear that? <laughs> wow, okay. So basically, you cannot be a single side farmer. Mm. You can know, you can know. Yes, you can do everything. Once you are doing animal farming, you must add vegetables to it. Then you can be using the waste as an organic fertilizer. It will cut costs from buying this chemical fertilizer from the market. So, I mean, one of the, I always say, one of the lucrative business in Ghana and of course now is farming because nobody controls you. You sleep as you want, you get up as you want, you go as you want. There's no pressure on you. You put pressure on yourself. Because if you have a schedule for your farming and your activity, for here we have a schedule. If we are doing weeding, one week we are doing weeding. Nothing distracted. The next day we know we are, like today we're supposed to do spring. We all knew. After the spring, we rest. After break, we come. So, for, I mean, I mean, look at the cabbage we have. We weigh them today and we're having 5 kg. Okay, 5 kg cabbage. You go around how many farmers are weighing uh, 5 kg cabbage. We are having it here. You see. And we have uh, the yellow melon we have here. It's weighing 8 and 9 kg. So, assuming the other day, the shop right said they buy 1 kg for 25 seeds. Mm. 1 kg. And you have 1 seed weighing 9 kg. So, 25 times is 9. So, if you have 20 of that, so you see what it is. Mm. But people don't really understand. It looks yeah. like poor people. But, but you see? Go around this country. Yeah. Go around this country. I have been to the north, to the eastern. I can count about 20 to 30 foreigners that are doing large scale farming here. Mm. We have about 10,000 banana farm around here. You go to Sugankopi area, we have about 20,000 okru. And the man export the okru to Germany and USA. He's doing the farming here, 20,000. As the Romanian man, I'm telling you. And when we talk of Moldova, Moldova is between Ukraine and R R Romania. It's a war torn zone. Mm. But it's in this country, making thousand hectares of habanero, um, squash, tomatoes, and all those things. Foreigners are taking advantage. And we, the Ghanaians, are being laborers for them. Yes, but I can tell you, uh, Ghanaians, being in my experience as a consultant in agribusiness, we have the experience. Because when he came, the, the man when he came, he contacted me. I took him all around. We started with him, but some few things didn't go well because I cannot be in the Ghanaian and you'll be more treating my fellow Ghanaians. I will stop the work. And that's why I left the work. Not anything. So he knew I have the experience. As today, he keep calling me, asking me an advice and all those things. My experience, I've been to Cocoa Board on contract before. So I knew what I'm talking about. So farming is not for the poor. Only that sometimes you don't have money to start and the rich give you money and then they employ you. But no. You struggle to pay yes. Here we will be doing uh, uh, the scenery. Then I will force them to go into uh, fish pond. Yeah, we will be doing fish. But six months, you are weighing 1.5 and one fish now is 34 Ghana city. A kg, one kilo is 34 Ghana cities. So just imagine. So the uh, me when uh, before I came, I told Mr. Kevin that we need to develop the place to different area. Certain things that people People don't. Somebody came from uh, USA and he bought the uh, the yellow melon. Then he told me he bought the seed from America. He saw it here and it is not doing well. So he was shocked. I was advertising those things. So so he thought it's a lie. So he came down here. He took two and he requested for ten again. You see. So it's the way if you have the knowledge of the farming, you can turn things around. I can promise you by 
yeah. December when you come here, you'll be shocked. Yeah. Because I, the kind of things, the yeah. kind of things we will be doing here, yeah. and we will be selling our own thing. Now we have a sticker. We will be going on our own a unique identity. Uh -huh. So trust me, we will change the whole thing. So farming is good. So anybody that has a land, you don't need one acre, two acre. Mm. At the back. You can have your garden. Mm. You can have tomatoes. You can have anything at the backyard to feed yourself. Too much of the foreign food. I mean, sometimes you look at it and you think, and yes, we don't have land. Our lands are fair time. Very, very fair time. And we can do it. So everybody should go at least do something with your hand. Another way of farming is the bucket farming. Uh, when the land is not good. Because we did, I did 4,000 buckets. That's what they did in Dubai. Mm. Dubai, their land is not good. They do it yeah. like this bucket. And mm. I, we kind of here, I did 4,000 buckets. For somebody in Sunyani, Goya and Kwanta, we have a set tomato. You know what happened? During uh, January, February, one tomato, they divide into two and sell for two people and sell. But we did it there. In a bucket, 4,000 buckets. And we started it. And it was always. So you don't necessarily need a land. Somebody was at a, a Oyarifa. We did a rooftop garden. Mm. I did a rooftop garden for him on the top of the story building. He is harvesting. He is harvesting. So everywhere is plantable. Uh -huh. So everywhere is plantable. More farmers. More farmers. Thank you. Thank you too. Thank you too. All right, thank you so much. Okay. Thank you for well, my name is Tufa Solomon. Mm, I'm working like employer here. Okay. I like to speak she, to hey, go, go, go on. my Ghanaian people about the <laughs> about the work I'm doing. Okay, okay. Speak to just that I will not understand. So when you stop, let me know. Are you not Ghanaian? I'm not. Okay, I get it. Yeah, but I don't mind. You can speak to me. Okay. I'm here to entertain my Ghanaian people. Yeah. Like the work I'm doing here is better. The family is better work here. I'm think, I like I think Kevin to employ me here yeah, because when I'm, I'm not doing any work. Okay, you went on Yes, okay. yes. I don't know how to do farm work over here. Okay. Because of Kevin, I know how to do farm work, do everything. I think him about everything. I like him. I thank him. God bless him first. Of all. Okay. So how is it like working with Kevin? As someone that didn't have any experience before. You think he's patient enough with you? Yes, nice to you? it's nice. I like it. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. I'm amazing to me. I like. Okay. I don't know how to do any framework. I don't well, know anything. Know. I know everything. I know everything. I know to weed. I know to <laughs> plant cabbage. Because of Kevin, it's not Kevin. I don't know anything to do. Like I don't have some work to do because of Kevin. I get work to do here. Yeah. I now think you him. Now have a lot of ideas. Eh? Yes, I have ideas because of Kevin. I come here, I have a lot of ideas on farm. The first time I don't know anything about farm, mm. but when Kevin explained me, I know how to do this, do this, I thank him. Would you advise young people like yourself to go into farming yeah. as a, for a full time farming for living? Yes, yes, the farm is a good job. It's okay. a better, better job. If you are lazy, you can't do job. You can't do farm work. Why? Okay, if you are lazy. <laughs> yes, you okay. can do. But if you're hard boy, mm. you want to fight for your life to do mm. something in life. Farm work is good job. You get money, get everything. Okay. If you find farm is not a good job, Mr. Kevin or not? Yeah, he will do, Yes, you want to do the farm work. <laughs> okay. It's a good job. Uh, every work is work. When you say tomatoes or every mm. work is work in Ghana. Yeah, I'm okay. glad you're enjoying your work here. Yes, I'm uh, like. Okay, like. I'm proud of my work, yeah. Mm. Hey, me me you say me yeah uh, like farming. Okay. Like to see how many how we get a cabbage, yeah to take cabbage and kitten kitty ya my be like grow yeah. If I know green pepper, yellow melo, I know how to do. To see ya me ba me experience be bre me who send your bo spray, your book cabbage and kitten kitty to spray. To see um a lot. So when you came here, did you did you know all this thing? You can speak in Chuyu. So what is it like working with Kevin Daniels? Oh, yeah, them. In your mobile brain, now Papa no way. Start Kevin there. Now me share the first one. Papa no boy a lot. You be any neighbor like you know she, you know BBI, but I encourage you say oh you be to me BBI at least. But so far, you know say for now only the. It's me, you've been Kakranka. Any idea, I've been my pain for an insoka. You chief, eh, Brawanda, yes, and now a manager in Kakranka, or my boy, boy, I am a Siano. You who send me a year cabbage, Mojuma, yes, at least. Yeah, me, a friend, Samuel Aim. 
Yeah. yeah. So what do you do here? Uh, Mini, me a general manager. Oh, I do money. I be be a mini general manager. You do everything. You take pictures. Yeah. You yeah. you're a photographer. You're the yeah. driver. You're the everything. Yeah. I know you are one of the uh, longest, like the oldest staffs. How is it like working with him? Uh, I mean, that's what we say. question. Me, 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 pa. Me, di can we share Mr. Kelvin? Wo, aha. In. Yeah, <laughs> So yeah, I am from Michigan. I am from Brooklyn. I want to change because I'm a man. Me, 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 so I, I was employed because of the snow farms, but we are yet to start, so we are all working together until the snow pen is ready, then probably I'll be moved to that side. Okay. How is it like working here? Is there any experience you're gaining? Also, honestly, it's been very great. I'm a nature lover. I know my purpose, like, I, f I now feel I'm now in tune with my purpose in life. By then, I knew nothing about farming. And for now, I can even mix chemicals, I can spray, I can apply fertilizer, I can do a whole lot of things, even using the bush cutter. And so I'm so proud of myself with what I've been able to, the experience I've gained since I joined this team. And I, I'm so happy for that. And finding myself in such an environment makes me so happy. I like, I, I feel fulfilled, yes. Mm. Down to earth. Mm. He's so, so down to earth. He's a very good person. He understands humanity. And then he relates to us as if we are we are we are family. family. Yes. We are, we are we are we are in a family set and everything like he treats us as like family and we are so happy about that. Yeah. Okay. So do you encourage more people to go into farming? Oh yeah. I'm a I'm a climate change activist, so okay finding myself here and then i would advise people out there to take up to take up farming and then they should also they should try and then reuse reduce and recycle from them everybody says they're happy i'm happy for them because um they are i can see that peace of mind you know doing a job that uh, a job that you that helps you to learn and earn money at the same time and gives you peace of mind is everything and i'm happy for them so it's time for us to tour this classy beautiful container house i hope you're ready this is actually very beautiful in there so the reason it's still like this is because um the owner has not moved in mr Kevin has not officially moved in they are waiting for other things to be installed like the e e e c g yeah so and other things uh once that is done he's gonna move this place is beautiful online in there you wouldn't know it's a container and quite affordable in case you want to know i think you should tune in for his exclusive interview about the container house and the farm and stuff we're going to talk about this in that video so this is what the bathroom the master bathroom looks like really pretty classy simple just the way i i if it's for me love it so this is the second room. It's about three rooms. So this is the second room, the guest room. And this is what it looks like. This one is quite tiny, but not bad. It's just, you know, just the bed and your closet. That's all. And uh, let's go to the third room in here. So they still have their air conditioner not installed yet. So this is the third room. This one is not too big, yet not 
too small. I like it. Very nice, simple, classy, just very nice. But guys, you know my favorite part about this place, if I live here, if it's for me, uh, which is mine actually, is the fact that I get to live in the bush alone, like inside the forest, like just away from the noise of the city. Just you and nature all by yourself. Oh my goodness. And now we back to the um, one of the bathrooms. This is the visitor bathroom. So, and it looks like this from inside you will never know you you can never tell it's a container house and then this is what the views uh, looks like from here you can oversee a kosombo from here omg you know this is how i like it this place is simply cute Zoom it out so all right see. now uh oh, let me let's know. take a tour so, wow. around um, the whole premises then we'll go to the farm and Are you sure? Uh, okay. Are you joking? Oh, yeah, you can talk. Oh, <laughs> uh, my friend called Solomon. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, I'm forget. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. I'm forget. Uh, this call, uh, uh, <laughs> baby day. Yes, okay. And I'm to Zagadat, yes. Bedi de, yeah. meaning what? It's Food? like we call Bedi de. Ah. Yeah, it's like uh, 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 Bedi de. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. He likes Bedi Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Hey. Hey. Oh, sweetie, come here. Get it. Let me fucking get it to work. Oh, this is bad. Oh, oh. oh. Hey! <laughs> so you can just do your thing. I just want to. Finish. I'm only trying to make my compound. It. Yeah, I see. I was wondering, how do people get water? We have boreholes. We have three boreholes. Three. One here, yes. One at the the farm yes and one here so we have three boreholes okay in the farm yes that's our house is this going to be container house no this is this, this is block house okay it's going to be blocks yes okay yeah it's fine this is it for salad or use it to prepare soup okay yeah What are these ones? Mm. Okay. Oh, Mr. Kelvin. Oh, okay. It's from United Kingdom food. Eh, so, so he they brought use it, from... it for soup. They use it for salad. So. The watermelon, the tastiest one. Hmm. Very sweet. The dark Which one? The dark, the the dark, dark green one. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So is this one ready? Yes, it's ready. Uh -oh. You can see the, the big the, size. The big size is here. You can go inside. Okay. Yeah, you can walk. This oh is the big my. Size. 
Oh my god. We have a set Okay. Yeah. Wow. This is big. Yeah. Is it you guys that place it on the Yes. Okay, we, so that it will be it will okay. It will not spoil. spoil. Yeah. All of them. Not or all just... of them, but the big ones. Okay. And they are getting bigger. Uh, when, we, do uh, we will do all of them when oh, it's wow. big. Yeah. Look at what a melon! Oh my God! I am so, I am so impressed. Oh. The same as yellow melon. Is it like what? This one? How do you eat it? You just um, you it's take like the honey melon. The way honey melon is. Uh, you just um, you cut will, the back you out. Will, no, you will peel it. Peel it like mm. you are peeling purple. Is it like um, with this one and this one? Which one is more expensive? Uh, so I market? think the yellow melon, right? Yeah, nutritional. Yeah, benefit, benefit than the other than one. Than watermelon. I'm and sorry. it's best eaten with milk and granite. Really? Yeah, yeah, roasted granite. I learned if you should. That means for you guys to sell it for that amount at the shop, right? It's going to be a lot. Yes. yes. But like this one now is not ready because it's, it's small. Not ready. And then mm -hmm. yesterday, Most I people who have seen it come and buy it from the farm. Mm. So the first person who bought it yesterday wanted to buy like a, pa a, a bag of it, but he had an emergency, so he had to travel. Okay. So those who know it, eh. people also need the seeds, and then people want the food. And some people give it to their animals. So okay. Use it for so today, someone came here for some. So. Well, yesterday I did harvesting. Ah, yeah. I'm so impressed. But, uh, so these are your tomatoes. So after this, you go back and you buy some. Hey, you help me bring it me. I'm not going back. Ah, okay. Let me go. I want to really go and try it because if you guys are selling it for that much, it means at the mall it will be double. Yeah. Oh. One, 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 one. The bigger, you should look for the biggest okay. one. Okay. Wow. Yeah, we're farm. Yeah, Chad. Yeah. What is this complaint coming from? Time we start harvesting them. I'll be here yeah. live to come and help you guys. Mm -hmm. I love harvest, okay. harvest and plant. So planting the maize is two varieties. Okay, our normal maize and sweet corn. So, you guys have like sweet corn here? Yes, yeah. we have sweet corn. Wow, okay. we have sweet corn. And this is oh. doing well. Initially, it was it, it was, was small, small. Okay. No. Those okay, now they are just uh, growing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, because now the rain is slow. Yeah. My tank crab is starting better. bearing fruit. You see? Okay. Yeah, hmm. they are blowing. Okay. Okay. So this one is already right? Yes. Ooh. 
<laughs> you want to harvest any? I know, no, no. no. Okay. Yes, they they spray this. We can't harvest. It. Okay. Mm. So after spraying, it stays for how many days? It depends on what was sprayed on them. Okay. So if at it's like it's fertilizer, at times it's insecticide. So. These are beds. We have we've not done. We've not. We okay. Just it's just beds, bed, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. But the one which has a covering. Mm. We started nursing our cabbage seedlings. Nothing is here, right? Yeah, no. Okay. Look at this. So this one is all ready? It's ready. It's ready. So how do you have this? So we, they use the we will cut glass and remove all. Oh, remove okay. All. Yeah. So, so a lot this of is how it will look like. It will be very bushy. Mm. And then you will have it this way. So when we come, we bring it here. Hmm. Then we take this part from it. We can harvest it. It will be very bulky. Mm. Uh -huh. Then we will have a place to hold. So when we come here, we take out this place and then we put the others in the better part mm, together. In the sack. Uh, so these are the pills we took from the ones we harvested yesterday. yesterday. And today. So you can see that we, we harvested. Yeah. The pills are gone. <laughs> this farm is not something we can do one day. Oh, because I can't walk. Hey, let's go. <laughs> okay. okay. Searching in the dark But when the darkness turns to light All the troubles fade away to nothing And it tells me everything's gonna be okay There are many times you feel not alright Tossing and turning through the night As the day goes by Seeming like you're searching in the dark But when the darkness turns to light all the troubles fade away to nothing Honey, trust me, everything's gonna be okay Oh, bana mi shenu bala ke dada o de
gonna be alright. We have come very far to lose the smile on our face. The love we share, none compares to the one we have in heart. The game has just begun, it's not too late to win at the end. Can't even go like a boy, and you both train and hold on. Okay. So we want you to go and test and see how it is. Okay. okay. Thank you. 